basically we lost everything. We lost all of our things. I don't know if y'all can see those there. You see that right? Mm -hmm. Um that's just whoa. Hey. Hey. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. Today it's snowing. Yes, it's snowing, y'all. And yeah, we doing build with snowman. No, we ain't. Yay. Yay. We are just chilling today. Everybody chilling. Asia over there asleep. She fell asleep watching TV. And I'm about to get dinner done, so I decided that I'm gonna just go ahead and vlog it and show y'all yeah. what I'm about to make. I'm gonna make some yeah. vegan hot and flour. Hot and flour, no. Mama ain't got been hot. What? Oh no! I'm gonna make some um, vegan hot and sour soup. I've been wanting some Asian soup, some kind of spicy soup. Can no. Can you vlog? Yeah. It's your room. Now tell them it's snowing outside. It's snowing outside. Oh, they're building a snowman. Somebody's building a snowman. Yeah, and there is snowman right there. Perfect time for soup, right? So, yes, I'm in the soup. kitchen and I'm about to make some hot and sour soup the vegan way. Right now, I'm pressing my tofu. If y'all have been following my channel for a while, you know that this is how I press my tofu. I don't have a tofu, tofu pressed or anything, but the one that I got, it seemed like it was already drained. I tried this new brand, and it might not be much talking because the kids playing and all that, so I'm gonna end up doing it the voiceover way. Y'all know how I do, I be creative in what, everything that I do. Here we go, so I'm gonna get started. This everything I'm using, sesame seeds and some bamboo shoots. We're doing it the quick way. This is the time saving way, okay? Not the lazy way, the time saving way. And better than bouillon vegetable base. Um, my mint garlic here. I don't have rice vinegar, so I was gonna use balsamic vinegar, but I think I'm gonna use lemons instead, and these need to be used ASAP anyway. So this is gonna thicken some stuff up a little bit. I got some cayenne pepper here, my ground ginger. Y'all, I had the, um, I had this stuff delivered for me, groceries delivered, so this was a substitute. They didn't have fresh, so they got me ground ginger and onion powder and the little bit of garlic powder that I have left. And then, luckily, I just need that much. That's, all, that's like one teaspoon, and that's all I need. So this is just more like an Asian inspired soup. I guess I can't call it hot and sour soup exactly because it's not exactly what goes in it. But um, yeah, and I'm debating on, I hope it's not too spicy for the kids, but that's the point for it to be spicy. So if not, they got something else in here to eat. I'll make them something else, some spinach or something. But uh, those are my substitutions. I got my pot over here, nothing's going yet and yes y'all i was really really sitting here for like about a good five minutes wondering if i should put this in some asian soup i'm gonna do it because it's great on everything and i don't think it's gonna mess it up if it do if it changes the flavor i'll let you know so that you don't make the same mistake but promise i mean but i'm pretty sure that it's not okay all right so let's get to cooking Empty pot. I thought I was recording y'all, my bad. I hope that it works with the TV going and the sizzling and stuff, but yeah, I'm gonna do a cooking chat today because I got a lot on my mind that I haven't shared with y'all that I haven't talked about and I don't really have time to sit down and just do a whole video dedicated to that topic. So what I need to do right now is transfer because I just thought that I should be cooking my broth 
while I'm doing this. And I'm gonna transfer this out of this pan over into my cast iron skillet. But while I'm doing that, I wanna talk to y'all because this just kinda triggered a little feeling in me. And I'm like, you know what? Just go ahead, get it out because I don't have time to really sit down and make a video dedicated to this topic, even though I've been wanting to. Uh, basically, we lost everything. We lost all of our things. Um, we didn't lose them. We were scammed out of them. The movie company stole them. I don't really know what to say about it, but the point is that we hired this janky moving company and now they're trying to charge us like way more than what we agreed to pay. And I paid them as much as I can pay them. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have the amount of money they're asking for. And honestly, when I, I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna pay it, period. Cause it's the principle. I mean, it's the principle behind the whole thing. Now I know y'all probably like, so what you gonna do about your stuff and all this stuff? I mean, we downsized, so we got rid of a lot. We got rid of a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Anyway, so the moving company and they're trying to just bully me into paying this amount. Now I signed one the contract that I signed with them whenever they were loading our stuff, the woman on the phone told me a whole different story. It it janky, y'all. Basic okay, let me try to say it real quick. Anyway, anyhow, long story short. Um, I signed the contract agreement and everything before they even came and loaded our stuff and all that. Y'all, long story short, they trying to charge me more money than agreed to. I've seen that this has happened to other people too, so I'm looking into my option legally on what I can do or whatever, but at this point, I just pretty much told them that if they're not going to honor the original price and contract that I pay, pay for, that I paid for, then they can just stop contacting me, just miss me with the bullshit because material things can be replaced. Now, I know some of y'all might be like, what? Like, so what you gonna do about your, ch I mean, like half of it has been replaced already. You know what I'm saying? I really, I can't think of nothing in there besides maybe a few sentimental things like pictures and my baby's, uh, like things from when they were first born or whatever and stuff like that. But y'all, I had a hard knock life to where God prepared me for things like this. I'm sorry, I'm not careless or none of that, but it's just that like, case is 15 now y'all, and I've lost so many memories, but I have them in my head. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as school pictures and all that type of stuff, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I know how to get it back. I can call the company and they keep those pictures forever if it's really that big of a deal or whatever. But that's pretty much the only thing that I keep on missing. Um, everything else, honestly, y'all, everything else has been replaced. That's why I kind of feel like the Lord is, well, not everything. I take that back. I lied. We got a lot to replace, but what am I trying to say? Like the major stuff. That's what I'm saying, you know? We just still got to work on getting some beds. I know that for a fact. That's like the, the only the last thing left. And I just don't want no little cheap beds. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we haven't got those yet. But other than that, I mean, it's not really that hard to furnish an apartment compared to that house that we was living in. So that's where we at with the whole move and stuff like that. And I think I feel better now that I just let it go because I was like really going through it, not knowing what was gonna happen. Excuse me. This is coming good. But, uh, so yeah, so that's why if y'all see me with, you know, like if it look empty in here, it's because it is. I don't have my table and stuff like that. Um, honestly, I was wondering where it would go in here, you know. But I said a prayer before we left. Like right when this happened, honestly, when they sent me the new price or whatever, I said a prayer and I told God, I said, Lord, I don't know what's going on, but I just feel like he told me to, y'all can go back and watch that video, but he told me, flee California, don't look back, leave. So all the memories and all the stuff that was tied to our things, all of the energy from that other house, I honestly asked God, I said, you know what, Lord, if you want me to keep it, then provide me with the extra money 
So that way I can go ahead and pay for it and all that. But if you don't want me to keep it, I need you to refund me a portion of the money. Anyway, so I told him, Lord, please give me the bulk of my money back. And that will be a sign right there that you want me to move on, let that stuff go. Don't look back. Don't have no memories of of that place, you know? And I'm talking about my home, not like exactly California, but my old house. That house was horrible. But, um, so yeah, so that's that. And he refunded me a bulk of my money. So I feel like, well, I need to take that and just start replacing, just buying new stuff, you know what I'm saying? So the two do, they know. They have really nothing of value, like I said, besides sentimental stuff, because everything else, I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, y'all, but I mean, shit, we ain't really got nothing of value. We trying to get there, you feel me? I mean, shit, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. Anyway, like everything that really matters, I didn't give it to him anyway, and I feel like that was nothing but God, because for some, I just felt like, I want to keep this with me. I want to keep this with me. And I think we all did that. I'm talking fast because I don't want to take up too much time. But I really think we all did that because there were some things that Keisha, she grabbed and she had. She's like, oh, I just want to keep this with me. So as I think about it, I'm pretty sure we taken a little loss. But I don't feel stressed out over it. I just, I feel like I just want to tell y'all because y'all the one too more judgmental. And I don't mean y'all. I just mean like YouTube. In the internet you know so basically that's my point i got one pot that's what i was trying to get to i don't know if y'all can see those yeah you see that like, like the little crispy edges that's what i want that to do so while this is over here cooking doing this i'm gonna get started on the broth all right so Tofu cooking. Now we about to get the broth going. I just added my better than bouillon and some water. And I put a little more better than bouillon in this one. So I'm just going to add some fresh water now. One thing for sure though, like this is my old cup that I decided to take with me on the road and my brand new cute one. I did a lot of shopping before I came. That's one thing. I didn't do a lot. Let me stop. I, I'm, I guess I am extra. Hell, everybody say I'm extra. I guess I am extra. But I didn't do a lot of shopping but I did enough shopping. Like there's some things that I was like, oh, this gonna look cute in the new house. Like or the apartment whatever. I was like, oh, this gonna look cute when we move. Some little things like that. Like my planning board and Oh man, my biggest thing is my flipping, um, my vision board, y'all. But the vision's still here. And I think I want to talk about that, like, in a, I don't know, I got to try to figure it out. I want to figure out how to talk about my vision board without actually having a vision board. Maybe I'll talk about it when I'm creating my new one because I do need to do that. I do need to do it. I haven't made a vision board for this year, and that's not true. Cool. Rock is simmering. Put one tablespoon of sugar. That's the sugar I right eat. I said one, but I'm feeling like a little more. I'll put that in. I picked the seeds out already, y'all. So I don't even worry about that. Just enough, I told you. But I tried chili sauce. Looks like I need some more greens in there. What y'all think? 
It's not green enough for me, y'all, so I need some more greens up in this chain. Wish I had some more collard greens, but we've been eating collard greens since New Year's, so I guess I'll give us a break. But you can never get enough. Never, ever can you have too many fresh greens, okay? I like it depends how you like yours, but I like mine extra crispy because I don't like the soft texture of tofu. So I use extra super firm and all oh, this is heavy. And I just went ahead and did that right like there. Like it? What do y'all think? Is it yummy? Yeah. yeah. Thumbs up. What you think, Kaylin? It's good. Yeah. What would What she say? I will I'm surprised it's not too spicy. I think that rice cooled it down a little bit, but I didn't put, um, even though it's supposed to be like really spicy, I didn't put as much cayenne or sriracha sauce as I should have. I'm putting more in my bowl, that's all, that's how that's going to go, so. Yeah, that's pretty much that, um, now we about to eat, I, again, I ordered some bread, but I just noticed that she didn't bring my bread. I wanted some Italian bread with this. Man like bread with everything. And bread goes with soup really good though. So that's that. And right now I got some croissants in the oven. That's gonna take place with the bread. And we about to grub. That's pretty much that. Thank y'all for kicking it with us today. That's the end of the video. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please make sure that you do that by hitting that red subscribe button. Give us some love by giving us a thumbs up. And always, forever, be you, stay true to you, do what you do, boo, and do it for you. We I'm out. out. I love you. Get out.